For the function f of x comma y, find a unit tangent vector to the level curve at the point negative one comma one that has a positive x component. Recall the gradient vector is perpendicular or orthogonal to the level curve at the point x comma y. So if we look at this graphically, if we assume this red curve is a level curve at this blue point, we have this blue vector that is perpendicular or orthogonal to the level curve, which we can determine by using the gradient vector function. And then notice this purple vector is tangent to the level curve at the same point. So if we're gonna determine the gradient vector, we can use that to help us determine a unit tangent vector. Because these two vectors are perpendicular to one another, we can determine the tangent vector by recognizing their slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. So going back to our work, we need to begin by determining the gradient vector function. But before we do this, let's rewrite the function f of x comma y. Let's divide every term in the numerator by the denominator of negative three. This gives us f of x comma y is equal to one divided by negative three or negative one third, and then plus four x squared divided by negative three, which gives us minus four thirds x squared and then minus six y squared divided by negative three simplifies to plus two y squared. And now let's determine the gradient of f, which is the vector function in which the x component is equal to the partial of f with respect to x, and the y component is equal to the partial of f with respect to y. The partial of f with respect to x is equal to zero minus eight thirds x plus zero, or just negative eight thirds x. And the y component is equal to the partial of f with respect to y, which is zero minus zero plus four y, or just four y. And now we'll evaluate the gradient vector function at the point negative one comma one to determine a vector that is perpendicular to the level of curve at the point negative one comma one. The x component is negative eight thirds times negative one, and the y component is four times one. Simplifying, the x component is eight thirds, and the y component is four. So again, this vector is perpendicular to the level curve at the point negative one comma one, but so would any scalar multiple. Let's eliminate the denominator of three, and also recognize eight and four have a common factor of four. Let's let the normal vector n to the level curve at the point negative one comma one be equal to three-fourths times the vector eight-thirds comma four. Three-fourths times eight-thirds simplifies to 24 divided by 12 or two, and three-fourths times four simplifies to three. So again, this vector is normal to the level curve at the point negative one comma two, and notice the slope of this vector is equal to the y component divided by the x component, or three halves, which means for any vector that is orthogonal or perpendicular to this vector, which would be a tangent vector to the level curve, would have to have a slope equal to the negative reciprocal of three halves, or negative two thirds. So the slope of the tangent vector to the level curve at the point negative one comma one must have a slope of negative two thirds. Let's call that vector t for the tangent vector. One possibility for a tangent vector in which the slope is negative two thirds would be when the y component is negative two and the x component is positive three. And this is a good choice because remember, we're looking for a unit tangent vector in which the x component is positive. So we would not want to make the three negative and the two positive, even though it would have the same slope, it wouldn't have a positive x component. So we're almost there now. We have a tangent vector to the level curve at the point negative one comma one but we want a unit tangent vector. So let's call the unit tangent vector vector u sub t. It's gonna be equal to the tangent vector t, three comma negative two, divided by its magnitude. And the magnitude is equal to the square root of the sum of the square of three and the square of negative two. The magnitude is equal to the square root of 13. To summarize, the unit tangent vector at the point negative one comma one with a positive x component has an x component of three divided by square root 13 
and a y component of negative 2 divided by square root of 13. I hope you found this helpful.